Hello guys, welcome to the next video of Trichopedia and in this Trichopedia video we are going to learn about the shortcuts and the important tricks on ripple counters which can you know fetch two marker type of questions in the gate examination. So let's get started very very quickly. I hope you are all aware what ripple counter is that you know in ripple counter the clock is only served to the LSB flip flop and the output of every flip flop will be serving as the clock to next flip flop. Yes, every flip flop output will be serving as a source for triggering the other, other flip flops. So this is what I have considered as the LSB flip flop. The clock is applied here. Here I have taken negative edge trigger. It could be any other type of flip flop as well. But very very important is all flip flops are in toggle mode. So say this is a T flip flop. So oh, and how is a T flip flop in toggle mode when T equal to 1? Okay, because when T equal to 1, the next state will be toggled, complemented. Similarly, if you are designing using a JK flip flop, both J and K equal to 1 for the toggle mode, for the complement state. And then the output of a flip flop goes to the next clock. The output of the flip flop goes to the next clock and so on and so forth. Right. Now, normally we are required to solve this. What is the state? What is the state sequence of this? Whether it is an up counter or down counter? Yes, we can solve it because we know how flip flops function. What is this positive or negative as triggered? But right now we are not here to solve. We are talking about the trick. Okay, and what is that trick? Look into the connection. Whether the clock connection is from Q or Q bar or whether it is a positive edge triggered or negative edge triggered flip flop. What is the condition here? Here it is Q to negative edge. Okay, this is the Q output going to the negative edge. And whenever there is the Q to negative edge, you take it, confirm, confirm, confirm that it is going to be up counter. If it is connection from Q output to negative edge, it is up counter. If I change something, if I change something, then have a look into this. So that's what, if it is Q to negative edge up counter, if you change any one parameter, it will reverse. Like up will become down. So rather than Q to negative edge, if you take Q to positive edge, I have changed one parameter. It should become down. Up ka down ho jayega. Right. Similarly, look into this now. Q to negative. I change one parameter. I make, take it as Q bar. Q bar to negative. One parameter changed. Up becomes down. Okay. So similarly, Q bar to positive. Right, Q bar to positive, only one parameter change, so again down will become up. That is one of the trick. One more trick, there are, I'll give you two tricks here. One trick is, just have to remember one type of connection, Q to negative edge. That is up. If any one parameter change, it becomes down and etc. One more trick, one more trick is again very simple. Let us say Q means 1, let us say Q bar means 0. Let us say positive edge is 1, let us say negative edge is equal to 0. Right, now, okay, take the output XOR edge. Okay, and if the output XOR edge, that means if they are different, if it gives a one output, XOR output is I when both the inputs are different. So if output and edge is different, okay, then it is always a up counter. Say for example, Q to negative edge, Q means one, right? Negative edge means zero. What is one XOR zero is one. And what we have seen, Q to negative edge is up counter. Okay, that is what you can study. Let us apply this quickly here. Okay, the figure shows a ripple counter using positive edge triggered flip flop. Okay, now if the present state is 0, 1, 1, what is the next state? Very, very simple question. Because now look into this connection. What is this? Q bar, right? Q bar means 0. What type of edge? Positive edge. Positive edge means 1. 0 XOR 1 is 1. And if it is 1, it should be up counter. And if it is up counter, if it is up counter, 0, 1, 1 ke baad next state aayega 1, double, 0. 3 ke baad aayega 4 na. So correct answer is 1, double, 0. The correct answer is 1, double, 0. Right? It's an up counter. Even the uh, counter that I presented, if I go back to that counter, okay. As I told you, it is up counter. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, double, 1, 1, double, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, and back to 0, 0, 0. That is what is up counting is. Okay. Achha, now let's take another type of very much expected question from ripple counter. Usually it's not going to be that simple, but questions are commonly mixed with the concept of reset or the preset pin, which could be mostly asynchronous, but they can make synchronous also. The circuit shown consists of JK flip-flop, each with the active low asynchronous reset pin. The counter is what? Modulo 5 up, modulo 6 down, modulo 5 down or modulo 6 up counter. First of all, look into the connection. Okay. The connection is our regular connection that I have taught you first. Q to negative edge. Q to negative edge, so it should be an up counter. Or you can use the XOR method also. So it should be up counter. It is not down, it is not down. Okay, so what you have to now highlight, whether it is modulo 5 or modulo 6. Usually it is 3 flip-flops, so it should be modulo 8. 3 flip-flop can count, 2 power 3, that is 8 states. But this has a reset pin. Now what is this? It is an asynchronous active low reset pin. What is active low? It is represented by symbol also. Read bar, yeah, if they place bubble here, it means what active low. What is the meaning of active low? When you send a low signal here, then only the flip-flop will reset. Then only the flip-flop will reset. Now, the signal is being derived from the output of NAND gate. Okay, input Q2 and what is the other input? Q0. 
वॉट इज अदर इनपुट क्यू नॉट ओके तो क्यू टू क्यू नॉट होल बार ओके तो ऑल द फ्लिप फ्लॉप विल रीसेट ओके इफ द आउटपुट ऑफ नैंड गेट इज जीरो वेन इज द आउटपुट ऑफ नैंड गेट जीरो वेन बोथ इनपुट आर वन वन वेन बोथ द इनपुट आर वन वन सो लेट मी जस्ट राइट डाउन वॉट वी हैव आइडेंटिफाइड इज दैट इट इज अप काउंटर लेट मी ट्राई टू राइट डाउन द काउंट सीक्वेंस क्यू टू क्यू वन क्यू नॉट ओके बिकॉज इट इज अप काउंटर जीरो 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 देन जीरो जीरो वन देन जीरो वन जीरो रेगुलरली इट शुड काउंट लाइक दिस ना नाउ लेट से द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस नैंड गेट इज एक्स The output of the NAND gate is x. Okay, and I want x equal to zero. Output of NAND gate is zero if both the inputs are one, right? If both the inputs are one, which input, right? Which input? Q two and Q not. So Q two Q not whole bar lena hai. Both the inputs are not one. Zero double one. Then one zero zero. Then I have one zero one. Then I have one zero one. यहाँ पे ध्यान देंगे. One zero one. 101 means x is equal to zero because both the inputs Q two Q not are high. And if x is equal to zero, all the flip flops will reset. okay because all the flip flops will reset so this state will not exist actually the state will be 0 0 because it is a asynchronous reset what is the meaning of asynchronous reset pin right it will reset the flip flop without waiting for clock without waiting for clock it will reset the flip flop almost immediately in negligible time that is why 101 state aata to hai but it goes away quickly right so actually the flip flop next state the counter next state is 0 0 right which is actually a repetition so how many states you have 1 2 3 4 5 this is not to be counted this is not to be counted 1 2 3 4 5 and my answer is modulo 5 up counter guys if it was a synchronous reset if it was by chance a synchronous reset okay then it will be modulo 6 Okay, if it was by chance synchronous reset, it will be modulus because synchronous reset means the flip flop, the counters will reset on the next clock. So one zero one will also be active for one clock cycle. Okay, so I have taught you in very small and quick amount of time. Hope you have understood. And if you have really understood, one more question: get two marker question as a homework. And here there is a synchronous clear input. There is a counter. Okay, and there is a synchronous active low. This is active low, right? If you have understood, please solve it. Let me know how did you like the trick and answer this question in the comment box. Whether your answer is A or B or C or D, do not forget to comment. Okay, guys. So that's it for this Trickopedia video from my side. I hope you have enjoyed it. We'll bring you some more videos. And if you are enjoying it, and if you want to attend all such videos without a miss, uh, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye bye. Thank you. Stay safe and take care of yourself.